you might lose control of the ball. So you need to be asking on a regular basis, on a regular basis, number one, what do I want? Number two, what is my outcome? What do I want and what is my outcome? She's an older woman, very experienced, and uh, I was new into the field, and I said, so how do you function? I said, you seem to be so organized. How do you function like that? Now this wasn't an NLP woman, mm -hmm. but she had the right questions locked in her mind. And one of those questions would be, she says, whenever I go to a meeting, I always ask, what is my outcome? But somebody had taught her that whenever you go to a meeting, there's always got to be an outcome for you to take away whenever. Remember and evaluate your outcome. Even if you didn't get there, it doesn't mean you won't. The train got delayed but got there after it's delayed. You think of an aeroplane flying out to India via Dubai. Yeah. There's some turbulence in the air. Yeah. What happens? Or there's some there's some weather, there's a weather forecast for a storm. What does it do? It changes its course, course goes round the storm, take action. We're still thinking about the five principles of its success. Know your outcome. Take action. Taking action is the avoidance of procrastination. You know when someone puts something off on a continuous basis? That's called procrastination. If you put off self-development, you've been procrastinating. If you put off getting something done that you need to get done, it's called procrastination. And I talked to you about this the other day, didn't I? It's not knowing what to do. It's not just about knowing. You know what to do and you know what to do. But do you do what you know? Because most people know what to do but don't do what they know. Right? So it's doing the doing, the ants to do. The Bible proverb. Go to the ant, you lazy one, see its ways and become wise. Go to the ant. He's talking about the lazy one. See its ways, then become wise. See that it's working all the time, constantly. <coughs> see that the ants work in teams. Watch the colonies. They will give you wisdom. One interesting part, if I can mention, Go ahead. Some, like the ants, yeah, there's too, when there's too many queens in the thinking colony, for the colony to like, work properly, yeah, and with less like um, fights happening, yeah, they will actually, some ants will actually kill their own mother. Okay. I was like, interesting. Interesting, okay, good, um, yeah. But they're organised, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, can you speak in English for a second, video? Yeah. Okay. Right, basically, wants to make one mother, you know, can't get uh, three, four of them to keep that one mother. Keep it organised, okay? Yeah. yeah, because otherwise, one queen and you've got different colonies. Mm -hmm. Yeah? It makes everything disorganised. See its ways and become wise, they do. Mm -hmm. They do, they're very clever. Alright, now, um, even if you're on the right track, you will get run over if you just sit there. Will Rogers said that. If you sit on a track, even if you're the right one, you just sit there, you're going to get run over. Alright. Taking action means, yeah, actions speak louder than words, don't they? We've all heard that before, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Beggars use, as I say, use actions rather than mere words. I remember in India, a beggar came up to me. 
Wendu ubola. Didn't say a word. I was in the shop. I even said to him, go and clear off, because they like pests some of them are. I says, clear off, I ain't got no money for you. You come to, whenever I come out the house, you want money off me? Whenever I come shopping, you're all around me? No, I wasn't talking about that particular beggar, in general. But this little kid, 15 minutes I was in the shop, still there. 30 minutes I was in the shop, still there. Does it go and clear it off? 45 minutes, still there. He doesn't say a word. So what do I do? I took out some money and give it to him. That's power, isn't it? He didn't say a word, just stood there. Not a small kid. Non-verbal action, powerful action, and got the result what he wanted. All right, what if you took action and was unsuccessful? What would that mean to you? Uh -huh. Alright, then I don't know what you said is that's my mind. What if you took action and was su unsuccessful? What does that mean to you? All well, it means if you failed, if you, you could look at the situation again and then go at it to find what? You said two responses there. You said failure. And you said. Take a step back. Take a step back. You know, uh, reassess the situation and go at it again with a different angle. failure for you and you accepted that as the failure was the action going to go? Negative, isn't it? There'll be no action, will there? No. There'll be no action. Remember when you really wanted something so much? What happened? Think about something that you really wanted. Really, really wanted when you were younger. What happened? 